morning students. Uh, my name is Busi Songinda. I'm a technical officer for mechanical. Uh, today I will be taking you through the experiment for two-stage uh, compressor. Uh, let's first start go through the components of the equipment. Here we have your manometer. It's inclined at an angle of 1 is to 5. Down here we have your air receiver tank and here is your air receiver valve. So before you start, make sure this air receiver is fully closed. Here we have your control unit. It consists of your inverter, advanced inverter, which will give you the speed of uh, the motor and RPMs, it will give you the power and then it will give you the amperes. Here is your temperature indicator. This is where you get your, all your temperatures. So these are your uh, selection button for temperature. And here is your uh, compressor speed indicator. This is, will give you your uh, compressor speed. So these buttons, because we are running two stage, we must make sure this button is facing the two, uh, two stage side. Here is your flow meter. This is your uh, flow of water. And this is your airbox. It consists of an orifice that is uh, 15 millimeters in diameter. On this side we have your intercooler. This is your intake for the first stage compressor. So your air will flow from the box into the compressor and then goes out and comes into the intercooler. From the intercooler it goes out from this side and you must make sure your three-way valve is facing on the side of the second stage because you are running the second stage. So if it's facing these directions, that means it, the air will not go to the second stage. It's only will be running on the first stage. So here is your second stage compressor. From there, the air will go out and goes to the air receiver. Here is your motor. So to start, you just uh, switch on from the uh, second breakers. So from your inverter, you will see it's already showing RPMs, watts, and uh, amperes. So you need for your when you press start, it goes to the RPMs are going up. So you will give an uh, a speed for the uh, for the motor to run it, and you will give in the air receiver pressure and the flow rate that you must run it for your first experiment. So if you don't want to run it this RPM, you adjust it using this up and down uh, buttons. So for the experiment, I will run it at 1400, it's fine. So if you see on the air receiver, the pressure is starting to build up. Depending on what pressure you want to run it, you just wait. So the pressure builds up until it gets to your desired pressure or your working pressure. So for argument's sake, let's say we're going to run it at 2 kilograms per square centimeter. So to maintain that pressure, you play around with your air receiver valve, open a bit, goes down, and then you close so that it stays there. You don't completely close, you just close so that it stays constant. So once it stays constant, 
you start taking all your readings. You take your temperature of air inlet, first stage and outlet, inlet second stage and outlet for the second stage. Temperature uh, of water inlet and temperature of water outlet. You take your compressor speed, you take your flow rate, you also take uh, your first stage outlet and you take your second stage outlet and all this pressure must be taken at constant pressure on the air receiver and that will be the end.